Hello, David from Cruising Calypso here. This next video is going to be a little bit different than uh, material I have loaded to the channel recently. You've all heard of a travel log. Well, I'm calling this a pre-log. This is a preview of the trip we will be taking from Graysonville, Maryland on the Chesapeake Bay up to Marion, Mass with Calypso 2. We haven't decided when we'll take this trip, probably once things settle down and um, harbors and marinas open up a little bit more. Hell then, sit back and enjoy this uh, pre-log. The format is going to be a little bit different. It's more slides than it is video, but ho hopefully you will enjoy and I will narrate along the way and point out some of the uh, stops we hope to make. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this uh, this trip. The new places like we are this time coming up from Maryland is a completely new to us cruising from Maryland to Cape May and from Cape May up the Jersey Coast to New York, the area of Great Kills, just south of New York City. And then we'll go through New York City, past the Hudson, past the, uh, actually the Navy hospital ship, which is there now treating patients. We'll go up Long Island Sound and stop somewhere in Connecticut, perhaps Old Safe, we haven't quite worked that out yet. And then we'll go on to Newport, Rhode Island, and from Newport, Rhode Island, back to Marion. So, um, we anticipate um, a, a route of about four days. Now we're building in time for weather. If we get a day that the weather does not look favorable, then we will stay. You know, we certainly don't want, we want to be safe and we want to be comfortable. In addition to this route planning that we're going to be talking about is anytime you go somewhere, you always want to plan to have um, a backup place to go. In other words, when I lay out this route, I'm laying out sort of the points that we're going each day. A, the distances traveled for us is gonna be the first couple of days about 100 miles a day, and that will drop down to a low of about 50 miles on the last day. Um, cruising at 20 knots, you're talking about anywhere from five to six hours per day, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, leaving, you know, eight in the morning, getting in by early afternoon, plenty of time in to still get there if we have to throttle back and go a little bit slower. So uh, along that way, however, we want to have route places that we can stop off um, should we have an issue, whether it be a mechanical issue, whether it be a weather issue, I, you know, you need to know where you are at all points. And that's especially important when you have um, on a new route in places you're less familiar with. So, uh, so starting from Graysonville, we will depart the Kent Island Narrows and head north up the Chesapeake Bay, down around through the Delaware Canal into Delaware Bay, and then we will spend our first night at Cape May. Cape May is a vacation town, and it's a place we've always wanted to visit, and under normal circumstances, we would have been able to explore the town, but this time we'll have to save it for another trip. There are many wrecks up and down New Jersey's Atlantic coast, as there are along the entire eastern seaboard. The wreck of the Atlantis is one that we're going to be looking for in particular. What's unique about the Atlantis is that it was a ship that was made out of concrete rather than steel. This material turned out to be not a good material for a ship, and, and the vessel did not survive. From Cape May, we'll head north along the New Jersey seaboard up, to, up into New York and to Staten Island to an area called Great Kills. Great Kills is just south of New York City, which we will be passing through on our third day as we make our way up towards Long Island Sound and our next stop. Our third 
next stop will most likely be in Norwalk, Connecticut, although we have not firmed that up at this time. The plan is still a little bit fluid depending on what happens with the state of Rhode Island, which currently has Newport closed, although we do have that on our itinerary. If we are able to stop in Newport, we'll do that. If not, we will change the trip so that we make two stops in Connecticut, the last one being in Mystic, and then hop over uh, Rhode Island on the way to home. The last leg of our trip will either be from Mystic, Connecticut, or Newport, on up past Block Island, into Buzzards Bay, past Bird Island, and round the corner at Red 2 into Sipican Harbor, Marion, Calypso's home. So we've engaged a weather routing service who has advised us that due to a number of lows and fronts in the Northeast, which is causing a fair amount of activity in the Atlantic that we should push the pause button on this trip until the latter part of the month of May, sometime after May 16th or 17th. At that point, we'll have a better look at a win weather window to ensure that it is both safe and comfortable trip. For updates, follow along on our Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel and our blog at www.cruisingclipso.com. Until then, have a great day.